I've been traveling a ton this year for comedy, which has been great. Uh, I went to two places in, in particular. I went to Austin and Portland. Both places, no, hold on. <laughs> Either way, you're wrong. Both. <laughs> if you see me before and I bring up a place, I will say nothing good about that place. <laughs> I'm not here to be like, they were great and moving on. No, so I went to Austin and Portland and they're not so bad, but here is the thing. Austin and Portland, both cities where their whole motto is keep it weird and they're, we're weird, uh. And I showed up and I'm like, I'm a weird guy. I love weird stuff. I cannot wait to see what I'm gonna see. Nothing weird at all, okay? I'm talking to people like, when does the weird happen? And they're like, it's around. It wasn't. <laughs> There's nothing weird happening in either of those places. I was like, you guys have to, the bar has to be higher. I live in New York, once on the subway, I saw a guy, and this is real, only wearing the top half of a SpongeBob costume, okay? Yeah, and what, oh, what was he doing, you ask? He was wrestling. A st another man, okay, who clearly didn't know him. That guy he was wrestling was just yelling out over and over again. He goes, Sponge Bill, no! Yeah. But no one on the train was helping. There's everyone watching like he seems like he has it under control. So if you're gonna be weird, you gotta step it up. Also, how dare Austin and Portland keep it weird? When, how, how dare they act like they're weird when they know Florida exists? <laughs> yeah, and it's just out there doing what Florida does. <laughs> Last time I was in Florida, this is real. By the way, this is Googleable information after the show. I'm in Florida. I'm walking past a newspaper stand. I look into the stand. The headline on the newspaper reads, Local man robs Wendy's with alligator. <laughs> what did you just say to me? I read it, I still said that out loud. It was incredible. Oh, and also, oh yeah, that's all you wanna say? You don't wanna add any more to that? Like, I don't know, maybe tell us if the alligator was an accomplice or a weapon? How about that? For real. Did this guy rob a Wendy's with an alligator? Or did this guy rob a Wendy's with an alligator? <laughs> There's a huge difference. <laughs> did, like, did, he start a, did he start a gang with an alligator, throw a bandana on it? <laughs> He's like, we're the alligator boys now. <laughs> Let's get to a Wendy's and make this official. <laughs> no. So. This is how, I, I bought the paper and I read the article and this is real. He used the alligator as a weapon, okay? And when I read that, I was like, did he at least hold it like a gun? <laughs> right? He didn't. He threw it <laughs> through a drive through window. <laughs> yep. Didn't see that one coming, did ya? You know who else did it? The lady <laughs> at the drive-thru. <laughs> so many things have to happen before you can even throw an alligator. <laughs> you have to find it in the wild? <laughs> also, by the way, how horrible is Florida that there is just alligators available to you? <laughs> What was even his qualifying material? Was he looking for a specific type? Or did he just, the first one he saw, he was like, this is the one, and he took it. That was it? So this is real. This happened in Florida, a place connected to the United States where we are all living currently. A grown man with a driver's license found an alligator that day. He didn't even build a relationship with it. <laughs> he takes his new alligator and he seatbelts it into the backseat of his car. 
I assume. <laughs> I just have no idea how else you keep it from getting into the front seat and biting you, right? I don't... I don't know if you guys know anything about alligators, but they kind of just do whatever they want. <laughs> So he seatbelts this dinosaur into the back seat. <laughs> and he gets into the front seat and he's like, ah, oh, I gotta make some money today. Stared <laughs> the wheel. Ah, oh, I could get a job. And he goes, no, no time. <laughs> Spent most of my day on that alligator thing. <laughs> Projects. I could rob someone. And he goes, I could rob a place. Those places have more money than someone's. <laughs> rob a bank. And he goes, no, no, they'll be expecting that. <laughs> Just thinking about it. And then he, saw, he comes to the conclusion, Wendy's. They have money and chili. That's the place. <laughs> so he drives his new alligator to Wendy's, okay? Pulls up to the drive-thru, and the lady at the drive-thru is like, hello, how can I help you today? And he goes, give me all the money. And she just goes, looks right at him and goes, uh, no. You didn't even come inside? You failed at this robbery. And the dude is so mad. He goes, give me the money in the register or I'll kill you. And she's from Florida, so she's not afraid of death or whatever. She looks down at him and she's like, no, if you had a gun, you would have shown it to me already. I call your bluff. Get out of here, crazy guy. Go, go, go. And he's seething mad at this point, furious. And he's like, you know what? I don't have a gun, but hold on. Yeah. And then he palmed an alligator through the drive through window. Yup. skipped so many steps in that robbery. <laughs> if he had a list of things he was supposed to do, he would have thrown the alligator, looked down, and just been like, oh no! I was supposed to threaten her with the alligator first. <laughs> By the way, can you imagine being her? He's telling this guy off and he's like, you know what, I don't have a gun. And you're like, wow, nailed it. Really doing it today. And then he leans back and starts unbuckling the world's ugliest toddler. I'm like, oh, hey, someone come and see this is wild. And then you look back and an alligator is flying. <laughs> imagine being the car behind him. there with your girlfriend? Like, what takes so long to make burgers here? <laughs> She's on her phone. You're like, do you even care? You look back from her, and then an alligator soars <laughs> from window to window. <laughs> Honey, get off your phone. They're throwing alligators into Wendy's. <laughs> this guy is crazy. <laughs> She's on her phone like, that doesn't make sense. They don't even serve alligators here. <laughs> Why am I with you? <laughs> so, this dude is sitting there awkwardly with no more alligators left to play in the robbery. <laughs> Probably thinking to himself, oh, you think if I ask for my alligator back? <laughs> Such a bad idea to throw it. He didn't even put a fanny pack on it. Like, maybe get some money while you're in there? I don't know. <laughs> So, he drives off, yeah, and he gets arrested immediately. He didn't even wear a mask. Yeah, he was like, I'm in Florida, people throw alligators, I'll probably get lost in the shuffle. Uh, no, he didn't. They remembered him, they arrested him pretty hard afterwards. The end of the article is true. It goes, no one was injured. The alligator was safely released back into the wild. And at the very end of the article, it read, no drug involvement suspected. 
Oh yeah, Florida? That was your sober plan? What does the non-sober plan look like? Do you ride a horse and the alligator throws you? What happens? Hello there, how's it going? Did you know that Drybar has an app? That's right, Drybar Comedy has an app. Who knew? I did, that's why I'm telling you. You could go to the app store and download it and then use that to watch my entire comedy special. So, uh, yeah, go do that.